I'm from Chicago and mm-hmm. 10 seasons. You ten. did all, all the way ten. to the 9. Mm-hmm. And then this is the 10th. Yeah, not done. 10 was finished before anything. Okay. So they just remixed 10. Remix. So talk to me about the remix. So yeah. I don't so know you- nothing about this remix. I know what I shot. I don't know how they're going to reshoot this shit. So what did you shoot? I shot the whole season. Wow. So, so you shot the whole season. I shot the whole season or when when that when that dog incident aired on the we was already done. What? We was already done. And that's why I'm sitting here like, yo, I just gotta see how they remix this because it's kind of funny, like the season's already done. And all of a sudden now, yeah, I'm coming up with, yo, we cutting ties with season. So we cutting ties with season. Ain't shoppers we doing a whole nother season. How uh, this whole season's about me, but you gonna cut ties. And that shit doesn't even make sense because basically all the ratings are coming from the scandal I created, not with the scandal from the characters that work for you create. So how is that going to go further after this? Okay. So let's unpack this whole situation because I need, okay, I need clarity on how the tape even got out. So let's let's go on. Think about it, right? I'm going to tell you, right? Okay. This is exactly what happened. I'm going to tell you this is exactly. Exactly what happened. I did a Q and A on Instagram, right? Somebody asked if I'm if I'm currently with my old situation. I said I'm single as a dollar bill. I swear to God, the next day that video came up. Now, if you in the household and you and your boyfriend's the only one access to to your ring camera, no one's hacking a ring because that shit is wild high tech. Not for not for no dog shit, you feel me? It's wild other shit you could have, like, wild other shit you could have got off the ring than that shit. But why is it that that shit get leaked out? If I didn't put it out, who else did? And to make it even worse, that shit was all the way from COVID. That shit was two years ago. So somebody saved it just in case they want to be vindictive. Wow, so you think she was plotting on you the whole time? But listen. At the end of the day, people won't say I'm crazy, but the stacks don't lie. She said it herself. She was holding it to blackmail me. So what that tell you? Why? How, m- how long were you guys together for? Probably like two and a half years. Was it like what made her feel like she wanted to do something so low? And I mean, like, because that's basically trying to ruin your life, your money. People love animals. Yo, listen, like- some people feel <laughs> entitled. And feel like, you know what I mean, that they're supposed to have you no matter what. And if they can't have you, they destroy you. And what makes it so ill, because I seen I seen it happening and I was like, yo, I need to get away from this girl because she wasn't really that right for me. Because you don't go into a relationship in two years and a half and sit there and say, yo, we need to get married. Like, how's how what 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 was was pushing us to get married. I don't have no kids with you, no nothing. We've been in a relationship two and a half years. Then you sit there and tell me, well, I'm getting baptized and I'm saving myself and my husband. All right. Good luck with that. Jesus is your husband now. I'm going to go about my business. And that's how it went. I didn't even go pack my own shit. I had my assistant go over there and pack my shit. So I don't even know what the problem was because I thought she was supposed to be old or holy and righteous after that baptism. But it seemed like she still got the devil in her. So basically, she turned into a leaf to God, and yo, that water wasn't that water wasn't deep enough. It wasn't. Yo, I'm oh my sorry, God. that shit was not deep enough. Because for you to do something like that and then turn around and coming up with a whole bunch of lies, and then the lie on top of lie, like I seen her, God knows, right? I seen her put up a bruise mark and said, "I did it," right? And I said, I looked at the picture, and I'm like, yo. That's the inside of her arm. What did I do? Punch him inside her arm? No one's putting it together. That's her fucking bruise mark from when she got her liposuction. But I'm sitting there like, are you serious? But this is how vindictive this person is. This is what I'm saying. It's like, y'all tell me because only two people had access to it. So if she's, if she's vindictive enough to put up a, a, a picture saying someone abused her, knowing that surgery mark, because that shit's big as fuck. You can still find it on Instagram. Why wouldn't you put that out? You, you wouldn't lie about me with anything. Wow. 
That's crazy. Oh yeah. See, that that's why I mean that's why I'm made for reality TV. My, so my life is a drama. Yeah, I mean <laughs> was she on is she on the season? Is she, was she in Yeah, the, she I think she's on a couple like a couple episodes with with me, but that's about it. But they didn't like try to bring her back and Ah, uh, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. They 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 done with her too cuz it's just too much well. Like So where were you when everything unfolded because I feel like this was a huge thing that unfolded on social media and all over the press like it was just everywhere and it, it was everywhere and what makes it so nasty is like i'll be honest like certain things i'll be saying like i'm not that big of a reality star or uh, celebrity for this shit to be like this but that shit got blasted from everywhere from tmz to Shay Room. Mm-hmm. No, Shay Room loved the fuck everywhere, out of me. Yeah, everywhere. Like yo, I was like, yo, every, yo, everything. Like, everything. I'm sitting there like, yo, yeah. what's, yo, who in the hell is Shay Room that I piss off? Like, because I be seeing motherfuckers do shit. Y'all don't, y'all don't mention none of this shit. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And I be knowing about certain shit. Y'all don't mention none of this shit, but as soon as something sees it, y'all got 50 different posts, 50 different witnesses. Oh, his baby mom said something. This person he dated said something. You posting everybody. I'm sitting there like, who the fuck did I piss off over there? Like, I can understand one book with 50? Yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot. And then I'm sitting there watching this. I'm like, all right, all right, I fucked up, but y'all going crazy on me. And then I'm seeing people, there's a lot of dog lovers, and I understand there's a lot people of dog lovers. No, I love my dog. You feel me? See, we I had a situation. Had no animals, cause my, I'm African. I'm from Chicago, but I'm African. My parents, my dad, my mom thinks that dogs belong outside. I, my mom's too. You feel me? I had a situation. Didn't mean I didn't love my damn dog. I had a situation between me and him, which honestly, I'm trying to rectify. It looks worse than it was on the beat, but it was not that bad. Joe. I want to talk. We're gonna talk about that. So. Where were you when the video got leaked? And then also, everything was... Let's talk about all the way... Like, right before that happened, everything was good, right? You was mm-hmm. Everything was fine. Like, was and you was... The season's about to come out. You're preparing. Talk to me about everything that was going on before the video got leaked. I mean, I was basically... I was basically chilling. Honestly, when the, when the video got leaked, was Did I... Did you have chilling? any idea something was coming? No, I had an idea something was coming by. I didn't think it would be this because I already knew how vindictive this person was. So I was like, she's going to do some bullshit, but fuck it. I'd rather be free and happy than have to sit in that miserable situation and have somebody try to hold something over my head that I don't believe in. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I always like, I always thought something like that. But when that shit happened and the way it went, it was like, they used Donna to get to, it was like, it was a whole bunch of bullshit. I'm watching this shit unfold. And the whole time I'm sitting there like, it's not too much I can say because that is me. All I can sit there is take accountability for my actions and try to rectify the situation. But then when I start seeing people come out the woodworks, like my ex saying, I'm a survivor of domestic violence, but I'm not talking about him. I was like, damn, you know, you was a, 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 a what you call a survivor of domestic violence. But it wasn't with me. So why would you say something right now when I'm going through this shit? Oh, you you looking for some type of clout. You feel me? Well, mind you, a couple of months ago, you sitting there talking to my brother in North Carolina, telling him how you want to get back with me and how you miss me and how this girl has everything that you're supposed to have. Wow. Like, yeah, I, that's why I got stuff blowing people's spot. I didn't sit here and tell Duchess I miss her. You went to my brother and said that shit. So how you saying that shit by beat you? And then Kit, she came out of nowhere saying some fly, stupid shit. Shorty, I never even had an argument with you. I don't, honestly, I remember sleeping with you a couple times and not even talking to you after that. So how we ever had an argument? But you want to be vindictive because a nigga didn't want to fuck with you. Cool. All right, let's even go even further. Then I see other people saying shit. It's like, I don't even know you people to be saying that. So when I'm sitting there watching that shit, I'm like, oh, this world's a bunch of capping motherfuckers, yo. They take on one situation. And they trying to sit here and tie it to everything, yo. I'm like, so now I beat you too? Oh, shit. And my whole time is like this, right? I'm not saying domestic violence don't happen. But if I'm that slick and I'm beating that many women, how it ain't not one record of one thing of domestic violence against me? Motherfucker, pull up. I don't even have a fucking criminal record. So how is it? I whooped your ass, I whooped your ass, whooped your ass. I'm just a serial ass whooper, but I'm just walking around free. But no one's putting this shit together like, damn, 
These women were loving him when they was with him. And as soon as he's not with them, it's fuck him. Are you a heartbreaker? Are you a ass dude? Do you just slam the door? Like, what is it that's making everybody so mad? Listen, once I'm tired of your bullshit, I'm just tired of the bullshit. <laughs> What's like, your sign? I'm a Gemini. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yo, I, I, it's so much of a build up. You're like, you know what? I have fun. I see you later. It's more, and it's never more than that because I'm not, I'm not one of them confrontational people that's like, Man, fuck you. I'm out of here. You're fucking this. You're fucking that. I hate you. No, it's like, Man, this shit ain't going away, you know what I mean? I wish you the best. We be friends. Call me if you need any help or anything, but I'm going about my business. That's the, that's what I do with all of them, yo. And every time I turn around, it's fuck season. I'll be like, yo, it's six years later. What the fuck? Don't you got a man and shit? What's wrong with you? So do you think everybody just took that opportunity to jump on the bandwagon and just... Let me ask you a question. Before this opportunity, did you see had, did any of them say anything? No. Hey, exactly. Everything was peach Everything and the cream. Was fine. Everything was fine. And then as soon as they seen blood in the water, fuck that. Let's go get them. And that's how it went. I'm sitting there the whole day watching these posts and watching people say what they say. I'm like, damn. All these motherfuckers talking this bullshit about me. But every single one of these motherfuckers, I help better their lives. And it's so crazy because I'm watching them. I'm like, damn, I created my own enemies. And my mom told me that shit would happen one day. Amount of people you help, you're gonna create your own enemies. Yeah. And look at it, every single one of them was a derivative of black ink. Got paid off of black ink. Black ink was not there. That was something that Caesar shared with them. And they turned around and said, Because I can't get no more money with you, fuck you. Wow. So what what got me so fucking geeked up is like, now if I turned that same energy on y'all, would I be a bitch ass nigga? Hmm. That's how this world is. If I turn it up and start talking all this shit about her, all these females and all that other shit, is yeah, Caesar's a bitch. Caesar ain't a real man. As a man, sometimes you gotta eat certain things that honestly you shouldn't have to, but you have to because the world's gonna see you otherwise. That's why a lot of times I be I, I be struggling because sometimes I be wanting to go on a Kanye rant. I know I, know I be I know he be feeling so good once he gets that it's shit over his chest. It's like oh. I'll be wanting to go, but I'll be like, not yet, see, not yet. But I know it's coming one day. Oh, I know it's coming. Talk to me about the mental health of a black man because I can't even imagine what you was going through. Like, yeah, I don't listen. even, I've never been, they tried to can't, I mean, canceling is so stupid because nobody can be canceled. Yeah, listen, at this point, ain't no one will be canceled. I'm going through the situation, but the thing was, no one understands mental health. Like, I used to take it for granted, you feel me? Until I really sat down with somebody. And then I didn't realize how much shit I've been through in the last 10 years that would break down a regular man. You feel me? Like, boom. When I first, my first season, my best, 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 best friend, basically my brother, got his brains blown out in the shop in Best Stop that I left him in. I gave him my, my, my first shop. And I told myself, yo, I don't leave this shit for him. Just bring his ass a black ink. And I didn't listen. And he died. That was first season, right? Third season, my little cousin died, who was like my, my little brother that I brought up, right? That I felt that was my fault because he should have been in New York. He was in New York to come see my premiere. He ended up in PA and he got shot, right? That was the next one. And then... His brother, his older brother, died that next season. Now, mind you, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm doing 24 episodes, so there ain't no break for me. So I miss, I'm, I'm seeing family members drop, but I still got to work. Mm -hmm. And mind you, I didn't even get to go to the funeral because I had to work. And we was doing some type of premiere or something that I couldn't leave because the big execs was going to be there. So I paid for my cousin's funeral and I didn't even get to say goodbye to him. Right. And then after that, I lost my fiance. Right. That was struggling for me, even though people think that shit wasn't. I didn't even know it was a struggle for me. Mm -hmm. it, that put me on a whole different path because then I started noticing once the person, once my the, um, psychologist started talking to me, it's like you got angrier. 
you, you could just watch a season and watch it. Then my grandmother died. Mm. Then my situation with my daughter happened. Mm. And then a whole bunch of other shit just happened that people don't even know about. So I had to sit there and go through all that pain that I didn't know I had and basically try to heal from it. But I was trying to heal on a TV show that basically I didn't have no time to even think about it. Like, think about your, my grandmother passed that basically raised me. Mm. And I didn't even get time, I didn't even get time to cry about it. I, I don't even remember crying about it because I knew she'd be mad if I didn't get back to work mm. and take care of my responsibilities. So it was just so much stuff that I was going through. And then it was, it was in COVID. It was like, honestly, I should have broke down a long time ago. Mm. And I'm glad that I didn't because it showed me how strong and resilient I am, but it also showed me that I need to always have a mental check. There's somebody that has to be there to check me. And that's one of the problems I had in my circle. There was no one to give me that check and say, yo, bro, you're getting burnt out. Mm. You're sitting here running all these shots. You're sitting here running all this shit. You're trying to help these people. You're trying to do this. Who the fuck is there for you? Mm. And then it took me, me going through all of this, for me to realize like I'm the most important thing. I can't be fucked up mentally. Mm -hmm. So I always got to check in. Mm, that's deep. Wow. So how were you able to keep everything together with just, I guess, going on social media, going to the news, seeing, all, seeing your name in the headlines as, you know, what were they saying? What, what? The abuser. That shit difficult because of some of those things, like, you all understand, during this whole journey, I've been called shit that I hate. Like, I've been called a Debbie dad. And I'll be understanding that shit. I got, I be got called a Debbie dad right after I bought my daughter a Rolex. How? Like, how? I've been called an abuser when I never put my hands on nobody but defending myself or on TV or a regular fish. But like I'm like certain these things it's just like it shit is crazy because I'm mean, here calling my name and it's like that shit bothers me. Like you can imagine everything you despise you being called right now and none of it describes you. And it's like, how can I prove this is not me? How many times I'm gonna say, no, 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 this is not me. Yeah, I'm bugging. It's like, especially as a black man, it's trying to it's trying to climb up a, a slippery mountain, you know. How this shit is almost impossible. Every time I take 10 steps, I'm getting pushed right back then. Mm. And it's like, I keep trying to fight and climb this mountain. My dumb ass won't just give up. I can't give up. I got to keep going. Because all I could see is the struggles of every man that came before me that wasn't able, didn't have the strength to get up there and fight. Mm. Now, I mean, black men been knocked down off their pedestal. A lot. Mm. A lot. Never was given the chance to get back up. And that most of the time from their own people. That's what saddens me. Do you feel like that people tried to do that? I mean, they try to do that shit with this. I feel like that. Because I'm sorry. I feel like my actions was crazy, but it ain't as crazy as some of the shit that's going on in the world right now. Like cops is killing killing fucking black people left and right. People are fucking smoking dogs, not just I mean, I've seen some videos. I'm like, none of them got as much of a fucking shit as me. I seen them up beat their dog in the hallway because he had to, he's mad he had to move his car. Like, this shit is just like, it, it, it's almost like hypocritical. We gonna pick who we want. Like him, yeah, he's too successful. Let's tell him now. But somebody just regular is like, fuck it, he did what he did. Like, it shit is just bugged out. And it's like, the people that's tr trying to tell me now, like I said before, are the same people that I help lift up. And it's so crazy to me. It's like, yo, I didn't even do nothing to you. I can imagine if I really did something to you. But it just showed me how much hatred you have. Because if I'm sitting minding my business and like I'm just living my life and you paying that much attention to me, hate on me that much, there's always been some anger here. Hmm. So talk to me about what happened with the dog in the video. All right, let's talk about it. 